got another lens to test. Oh my god. Panasonic 7 to 14 millimeter. How's that stabilization? I just want to see. This is just walking, handheld. We're going to try the electronic stabilization and the teleconverter. How close can we get? I don't know what I'm doing. We abandoned them. Panasonic, your sensor is the same size of a baby duck. Why do you do it? Do it. Okay, so now we got electronic image stabilization as well as the IBIS. If we are walking around, how smooth is this? We're ruling of thirds over here. Can you believe this? Are you believing this right now? <laughs> Hello. Hello. What's this one? What do you? Sony. It's Sony. Sony. Very old Sony. A three fifty. Wow. <laughs> Full frame. <laughs> okay. Full frame. <laughs> Good cam. Old cam. Sony never breaks down. <laughs> Should I get a Sony? So how's that looking? I almost forgot to compare the Sony. Oh my god, that would have sucked. So we got the little Sony X3000, my favorite camera in the world. I would almost want to just sell my G85 and just use this. I might, I might do it. So how does it compare image quality and stabilization? I'll do some more side by sides. I would almost want to just sell my G85 and just use this. I might, I might do it. So how does it compare image quality and stabilization. I'll do some more side-by-sides. Okay, so I was curious to see what would happen if we use a teleconverter on a short lens. It ends up being similar to my other lens. And then we zoom in to... <laughs> oh my god. So now, we're at the original, the Mitochondria. F0.95, no idea if I'm in focus. I tried to nail it before we started. How's this for just chilling for a chill video? How y'all doing? Sitting down, background, not blurry at all. That is unfortunate. If we were like here, it's tough to gauge that focus. There. The only person on the planet that wants a blurry background with a wide angle lens. I want both. I want my cake and to eat it too. Compare that to the fish eye. Oh my god, where got a fish eye? Do I look weird when I get over here? Does my face start doing weird shit? Is this weird? If I did a super rule of thirds like this, would you still love me? Would. That's weird. In the top of the frame. <laughs> okay, let's walk around. Okay. We got the fish eye. We got the fish eye. Is this weird? Would this be a crappy vlogging lens? Is that. Are the curves like that annoying? Are you nauseous? Just looking at it? Okay, let's do a stabilization test. No electronic stabilization. We're just walking around in life. We're walking. We're in a mall. He's having his old Sony camera fix. You can see it. You can see it all because we're at a wide angle. Switching hands on the fly. Switching hands. What if we're way out? Way out. There's so much going on in that background. Oh my god. I'm probably no longer in focus. Okay, we'll do the electronic stabilization test. I feel like wide angle lens with IBIS and electronic stabilization is the ultimate thing. 
Do Sony cameras have electronic stabilization modes in their like Sony A7 line? Up to? Post it down below if they do because that is one major advantage. Panasonic does it right. It's not weird. And Canon, Canon doesn't know what the hell they're doing. It's, it warps. Did you see my M50 test video? Because my face was like warping where the bottom was going this way and the top was going that way. Who would date me? So now we'll try the teleconverter, see if that gets rid of the fish smell. Okay, here's with teleconverter and electronic stabilization on. It's so close to me. All right, electronic on. The only problem with this one is I can't afford to lose. We're cropping too much. I didn't have any to lose. But how stable are we? How stable are we? You're probably the only person in Thailand that does this. Just a bonus test if you're curious to see what happens when we go to 1.4. It is a lot better. The bokeh gets better. At f0.95 it's busy and weird. That bokeh is doing stuff. It's getting stuff done. Oh, and last test is the teleconverter on my 50 mil. It's a 25 mil, but 50 mil equivalent. So we just have eyeballs and zits. Eyeballs and zits stuff. Well, the stabilization does weird things like that. It jumps around. Oh, jumping. Jumping like symbol. That's how much that one is. 7 to 14 is 34,990. And then that one, the 8 millimeter fisheye, is 35,990. That seems like astronomically expensive. Am I in focus? <laughs> oh, why not? Yeah, now we're talking. So we're trying the Olympus 7 to 14 again, 2.8. So heavy. How's that stabilization? <laughs> hey, the kid. Hey, kid. <laughs> yeah, so electronic stabilization. Let's do a little walk test. Yeah, so this has body and electronic. So two of them. Seems stable. <laughs> it's heavy. Okay, so focus on me and then focus on him. <laughs> Is it working? No, okay, no. Maybe I'm too close. That felt like it was working. Uh huh. Okay, I'll go further. You stay back there. <laughs> okay, focus on me. And then focus on him. I think it's working. Will me? I do believe so. So that could technically work. If I just tap, and then I'm good. Ah, uh, you're good. <laughs> And then it stays on me. Feels like it's not on me at all. Feels like it's on him. <laughs> now it's on him. Is it on me? There, it worked. <laughs> so. The search continues for the perfect lens, wide-angle lens. There's a couple other ones on my radar. I just discovered SLR Magic 8.5 millimeter, I think. And then there's a Kodo 8 millimeter. I don't know, I haven't looked into them yet, but I will take a look. So, I think that's it. We're done here for today. Thanks for watching the video. Oh my God. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Panasonic, Olympus, Nolis, Canacon.
Panasonic, Olympic, Lotus, or Canacon. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect.